And the LED unit will definitely need a heat sink on the back of it, which is going to bring it forward 14 millimeters because that's the thickness of the heat sink. And this means the lamp will be nearer to the condenser, which will be at the same position. And it's just possible that the light spread will drop off at the corners when we come to test it. If that's the case, I've got two options. I can either make a hole through this backboard for the LED unit to sit in, or move the whole of the mechanism forward by 14 millimeters just by making new screw holes to shift the whole thing forward. It'll stick out this way a bit more, but I can accommodate that in the eventual carrying case. So um, I think what I'll do is do a test when the heat sink arrives the next day or two and see what's happening. And if I need to make a change in positioning, at that point I need to decide whether I'm going to cut the hole or move the mechanism. Once I've decided exactly where the mechanism is going, whether it's staying there or moving forward, I can then cut the leather belt that goes from the drive wheel down to the motor. Uh, I can cut that to length accurately without wasting it if I have to change the length and it needs to be longer. So that's the plan. Eventually I'd like to have the drive motor work uh, via a speed control unit which would fit here the electronic speed control unit seems to be disguised as something ancient um, because I think starting at full speed probably isn't the greatest idea um, and also it would be quite good to have a little control over the projection speed either side of 16 frames a second I've just temporarily connected the motor to the transformer without going through the fancy switch and the transformer is now connected to this voltage regulator. Now, this is a very cheap, incredibly cheap thing from China. You can buy them for something like £1.28 post pay from China. I actually bought this from an English distributor, but it's the same thing. And the idea is that I'm regulating the voltage that's going into the transformer. So in other words, both of the two 120 out lines will actually be regulated at the same time. And that's because I'm intending up here to have a voltage meter. And on the back of the machine, the safety cover made from an acrylic paint box lid because the fixtures for the uh, meter uh, will be live, 120 volt when they come out of the wood there. So that I can see when the um, 120 is actually on without necessitating turning the motor on. Because we've got two two outputs from the transformer at 120, one going to the meter that will be up there and one going to the motor. And because this controller is regulating the 240 going into the transformer, those 220 out will both be regulated at the same time. So if I see the meter come on, okay, I know the motor should come on okay too, without having to switch it on. That's the plan. Now, this, this does look a puny device but I've been using it on one of my 8mm projectors which has a 500, old fashioned 500 watt tungsten lamp and a motor of something like 150 watts maybe perfectly happy doing that and here it won't have the lamp, just the motor and the very small amount of current used by that little meter so the plan is to use this, now I'm about to switch this on it won't stop the motor, it doesn't go down to zero voltage on the low end of this control knob, of this potentiometer, so um, basically the motor will come on but it will be comparatively slow and then I will need to make sure I don't electrocute myself 
uh, while I turn that um, control knob up so you can see the motor find out whether it uh, does actually control the motor let's find out now as I lean over to switch the mains on there we go it is obviously running slower And that works. A very strong smell of ozone. Have to look at those brushes. And um, bought this plastic uh, soap dish, local charity shop, which is perfect, the perfect size for this uh, little controller to go into. And I've adapted it. Uh, there's a heat sink on there, but of course I will have to have plenty of ventilation holes. And then that box, I've decided, is going on the back here. So the knob will come out here um, for controlling the speed. And I think that's the best place for it. Suitably spray black, it'll look like um, Bakelite or uh, Vulcanite or something suitably of the period. And um, so when standing behind the projector, with the screen in front, uh, that will be easy to control the speed or when sitting facing the mechanism again uh, speed control will be pretty straightforward so so that's the next thing to do, get that all organised I've got this box to split the mains because there's several requirements for 240 so it will be one cable in and then several out at the other end and that's that little box there is um, splitting the 120. But of course it will stay closed all the time. I'll put a little screw fitting in it. And uh, so the control knob will be here. That should be fine. I think that's all going to work out quite nicely.